Now that NaNoWriMo is over, what should you do with the 50,000 words of a novel? Well, I got some ideas for you. Look at my fellow wordsmiths. I'm Tim. NaNoWriMo ends tonight at midnight. Well, technically 11 with 59 minutes and 59 seconds. But tonight, and a question will come up that you will need to answer. What should I do with the 50,000-ish words I just spent a month writing? Well, I have four suggestions and a bonus suggestion on what you can do with your nano novel. You can download both of my Excel word count trackers, old and new. Like, subscribe. Yes, yeah, social media, yeah, not good, okay. Let's get started. You may want to skip this one because it's my thing to joke. I do actually have helpful tips. We're going to start off with the bonus, which is trash it. That's right, you heard me. Throw it away. Why? Why? It will become a distraction for you. Get rid of it. It will save you from using it as a diversion when things aren't going the way you want them. Trust me. I do have actual tips for with the idea that you want this novel to be helpful in your career as a writer. So now that this one is out of the way, let's get to my actual tips. Finish goddamn novel. Let's be honest, you either hit 50,000 words and stop writing, or you still haven't gotten to 50,000 words yet. I know many who have set out to hit 50,000 words in the month of November and never got there. You probably hit around 15, maybe up to 30, 35,000 words before life got in the way and you stopped writing. That's fine. So get back to writing and finish the novel. And I don't mean until you hit 50,000 words. If you reach 50,000 words, congratulations. You just wrote 50,000 words in a month. Got the huge accomplishment, celebrate it. Okay, you're done celebrating? Good, get back to writing. You're not done yet. This is because a novel is longer than 50,000 words. If you're done, you either wrote a novella or you wrote a middle grade novel. Until your novel's done, it cannot help you in any way, shape or form. You have to finish the novel, so get writing. If you wrote the end, every scene in your outline, congratulations, you wrote a novella. Or you wrote a novel, but you dramatically underwrote that novel. You need to write some more. Depending on what genre, uh, age range, will determine how much further you have to go. Most adult novels are around 70 to 85,000 words. YA is generally between 65 to 85,000 words. Once you finish writing, Congratulations, you can now learn from this novel. Mostly what you did wrong. Yes, other than writing it during NaNoWriMo. Obviously. You need to be brutally honest with yourself to be able to learn from it. Do all your characters sound the same? Did you under or overwrite sections or the overall novel? Did you try to wax poetic prose to sound intelligent and it just doesn't work? You can't improve unless you're honest what is bad? A good rule for myself is if I struggled in an area, it's probably bad. Example, you struggle to get 1,667 words each day for NaNoWriMo, but you eventually got there. There's a good chance you probably overwrote those sections or the novel in general. Just to give an example. But now I'm going to throw you a curveball. Just because you think it was bad doesn't actually mean it is. The only way to know for sure is to read it. And you'll be surprised. How much when you get to a section you thought was bad is actually pretty good and well done. And things that you thought were amazingly well written are horrible. Not all of it, but spots. Maybe it's the whole thing. You never know. This is another thing you can do to learn from this novel. It's the next suggestion. Edit your novel. No, I don't mean go through all the steps of editing you would do to, to get ready for publication. Only do that if you're going to publish it. Do not publish this novel. I'll explain why in the final suggestion. Don't. When you edit your novel, you're forced to see what isn't working in the novel. If you're honest with yourself. No, I don't mean read it and edit chapter by chapter. There are stages to editing a novel. Start with big picture, move to small. Get others' opinions by getting some beta readers. There you can kind of stop. Don't hire an editor. No, do not do all these st these stages if this is your first or even your second novel. I don't care if you've written 20 novels. 
If you've never edited a novel, focus on the first stage, big picture. Learn what you can from this form of editing, and then when you're ready, move on to the next. Editing a novel isn't just good for learning how to edit, but it's also good to help you better prepare for planning for your next novel. No, I don't mean rewrite the novel once you finish it. I mean, lock that hot piece of garbage up and come back to it when you're a more experienced writer. Read it with the fresh eyes of a better writer someone who's written a lot more, and figure out the problems, and then fix those problems in the outline. If you're a planner. Then rewrite the novel. Only rewrite the novel if you're going to publish it. There's no point to rewrite it if you're not gonna actually publish it at this point. The reason to rewrite this as a more experienced writer is because you're no longer new. Most of you are new to writing, maybe written only a handful of novels. Do you really wanna publish something when your skill level is low and your writing sucks. I don't care what editor you hire, they can only make suggestions, but you have to implement them. And if your skill is low, your writing will still suck. Better. But suck. The more you've written, the better chances are you'll be able to make this book better when you come back to it with more experience. How long you should wait before you come back to it? I can't tell you that. That's different for each person. Don't forget you can download my free word count trackers. Since you made it to the end of this video, if you enjoyed it, why not smash that like button and subscribe. Learn why you should track your word counts by clicking the video way over there. You know, you know, the one on the other side of the screen. Yeah, click that one. And I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye.